So we're going to start with one of the turn blanks. At least using a lathe, it's perhaps one of the quickest methods. And two for the price of one. First thing to use is the knife. This is a Martini Little Cat 705, which can be quite difficult to get, but it's made by the Finnish firm of Martini. It has the one essential feature, and that is the handle projects beyond the blade. Apart from that, the blade is quite thick, and the knife itself is quite quite stout, not too long a not too long a, a blade either. There you are, now you can see the thickness of the blade. You can also see that the edge here is polished very highly. And that's because of the very fine stone I use for sharpening. I'll show you more of that later. First part of our little adventure is to take all the arises or sharp edges off the spoon so that when I'm working it, it's not going to cut into my hand. It's not essential, but uh, it can be a little bit of a nuisance, a little bit painful. If you observe, that is hitting my finger, my hand or my finger all the time. So the knife is actually in no danger of actually meeting flesh. Here, my thumb is actually pushing it. So again, there is no danger of it uncontrollably hitting flesh. Can we just travel up here? There we go. That's the last of it. Tiny wee bit here. Wood is a bundle of fibres that grows along the length of the tree. This spoon has been made with the grain going this way, from the top to the bottom. That means that if you cut across the grain that way, it is far more regular than if you cut it that way. That way it can wander in and out. This way it's just a plain straight bundle of fibres, normally. That is why, to start with, we cut across the grain like this. I'm using a plain straight ordinary gouge. This looks quite dangerous, but what's happening is my hand is coming up underneath, here, and stopping and not very much of the blade is projecting, as you can see. This is quite critical, because at all times you must be aware of the safety aspects of this. As you go deeper, the gouge becomes less efficient. It is, of course, quite easy to use a gouge, a spoon gouge, right from the beginning, but I prefer this. This is a little bit more efficient, and indeed, if you don't want to go so deep, you don't have to. Now, spoons used for cooking are actually quite shallow, so bear that in mind if 
you have a practical purpose for your spoon. Now what's happening here is that because of the grain direction, some places are easy to carve and other places are a little bit more difficult. I'll demonstrate that more fully in a minute. No, I think we're nearly at the limit of this gouge. A little bit more here. Now, the nice action here is from the wrist, so there's no danger of slipping. It's not uncontrolled. There we go. 